in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13 and 14, says like this, God says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. This is the duty of man. For God will bring every work into judgment, including every secret thing, whether good or evil. Who is talking here? God is talking. To whom? To you and I. What he says? He says, it is our duty to fear God and to obey his commandments. You got it? And he, and he continues to say, everything, whatever we do under the sun, will be brought into judgment, whether good or evil. So wake up. Wake up. Stop taking your life for granted. My brother, my sister, my friend, everyone will believe God is real, Bible is real, Jesus is real when they die. You got it? So wake up, wake up, wake up and say right things. At the same time in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 1, God gives a promise. He says like this, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to flesh, but according to the Spirit, the Spirit of God. My brother, my sister, God shows the escape way here by simply accepting Lord Jesus as our personal Savior. When we are in Him, we will be exempted from being condemned. Why? Because Jesus has already paid the price for our sins. He died in our place on the cross of Calvary. That's the good news. That's the gift of God. My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. Wake up. Start following Jesus. Start accepting this Jesus as your personal Savior as well. So that you too can walk into heaven one day. Wake up. That's the truth. That's the truth. There is no other way to go to heaven other than through Jesus. That's what we read in the book of Acts chapter 4 verse 12. No other name given under the sun to be saved other than the name of Jesus. My brother, my sister, my friend, the duty of you, the duty of me is to fear God and to follow his commandments. Now probably you might be wondering, where are his commandments? That is what we find in the Holy Bible. Genesis to Revelation. That's God's word. We are supposed to know that, believe that, obey that. And that is the only way which will, which can take us to heaven. My brother, my sister, my friend, stop taking life for granted. Stop taking your life for granted. Everyone will believe Bible is true, God is true, Jesus is true when they die. But they cannot make any changes in their life if they wait until death. So wake up. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. Today we have now that I told you how you can escape from condemnation, the coming condemnation. Death on earth is not the end of our existence, my brother, my sister, my friend. It is nothing but transition into eternity. In eternity, there are only two destinations, heaven or hell. In heaven, there won't be tears, there won't be pain, there won't be sorrows, there won't be death. In hell, just the opposite. So think about it. Decide today, choose to follow Jesus so that you won't be condemned. My brother, my sister, my friend, God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. Until we meet again, may God continue to be with you as well. Amen. Hallelujah.